Hey y'all peeps, back to Sal TV. Want to give you a uh, one of our very first videos was about this jet boat, custom jet boat that we've uh, we've made, custom made up. So the whole uh, whole idea of this thing was I wanted to build a a boat of some sort. It was a bit of a uh, COVID build last year when um, COVID hit us in uh, Adelaide, South Australia, and um, yes, yeah, wanted to build something on that time. Wanted to build a two-seater boat and something for me and my boy to ride around in. Maybe that's going to be a, a, a next project later on in a build date. But um, yeah, I've seen uh, they do a some sort of a uh, jet cart over in America. They've only just started them. A uh, friend um, had sent it to me. Obviously not this crazy. They only they only use the standard um, jet uh, uh, the jet ski motor. Uh, whereas if it's a uh, 1800cc or a, uh, uh, a small, uh, 1600cc, but um, what we've gone for was a, uh, a jet ski and we've put a uh, K24 in it. And obviously what we do is we love turbocharging stuff, so we've um, banged up a uh, GT40 turbo on the side of the thing. And um, obviously that's a uh, water to air intercooler on the back. Custom plenum on the side. Uh, radiators on the go kart radiators on the front here to keep the cooling. And uh, as you can see, we're going with uh, a uh, custom trigger on the front. So we're in uh, the amounts of uh, getting everything 100% running. It has been running. But it's, um, it just had a couple of teething issues, so um, yeah, we're uh, get, trying to get everything running 100% on this thing. Uh, have gone for the, I don't know, the custom jet boat steering wheel. I don't know what you're going to call it. I just thought it looked cool, so I went with it. I didn't want to run a steering wheel. I wanted more, more space on the sides. Uh, it does come off for more space, but um, yeah, and that's it. All right, so as you can see guys, that is a tablet on the front there. It is a bit dirty, I know that. So why have a tablet? Why have all this touchscreen stuff? Obviously that's gonna be the dash, but as you can see, there's lots of speakers everywhere. So it's a boat. I thought it needs to be loud on the water. So we have opted for speakers pretty much everywhere. Fiberglassed everything cooled in. And uh, yeah, we've uh, obviously that's a subwoofer on the back. So uh, yeah, get a lot of uh, comments about that thing there, but uh, we don't care if things break because we like to fix make, and make uh, things better. Right, so the only thing we've got left to do on this thing is a drive shaft. Uh, we have a couple of ideas, but um, yeah, we haven't done anything as such yet. So uh, yeah, biggest thing on this thing was the, the angle of the drive shaft and um, how much different it is then it's not a straight output from the uh, motor to the um, the pump, jet ski pump on the back. Uh, pump is a standard pump on the back of there. So that's what we've, uh, that's what we are uh, powered, like pretty much powered from. Obviously it doesn't matter how much horsepower it is. It's um, always, that's where our speed's gonna come from is the pump. So later on we'll be getting a uh, bigger pump for this thing because the motor can push it. And um, yeah, we can um, yeah make it as fast as pretty much we want. Um, roll cage, I know it doesn't do anything. It just looks cool, and also it will it houses the motor. So the motor is mounted off of the uh, off a big engine plate off the back, uh, fiberglass into the body. So it's one piece. And the front motor plate is mounted actually off of the roll cage. Uh, the only really sort of way of sort of could do it so it does serve a purpose for the engine but obviously not if we flip it in the water it ain't gonna do nothing uh, seat wise it's out at the moment it is a Kirky uh, aluminium seat with uh, the seat cover but that's out at the moment because we are working on it and getting this thing running right um, but yeah it as I said it has been started up and um, it does sound uh, mean 
But uh, yeah, we're just doing a couple of teething issues on this thing and um, yeah, it'll be out in the water very soon. Uh, paint wise, we've gone for, it's a candy red. I uh, wanted something to do something custom on this thing. Uh, and it's uh, come up really nice. Just the underneath the hull, it's all black because we're gonna probably scratch it anyway. There was no point painting the whole thing black, uh, candy red and wasting our uh, some expensive paint. On the side, we've got some um, some nice custom details, uh, decals, sorry. That, uh, as you can read it, if you can't read it, it actually does say snail do. And obviously, snail is our uh, snail TV, and we want to do as in um, it's a sea do pretty much. Um, some more airbrushing on the back on the back here. We've got a snail, obviously, as you can see with headphones and um, a turbocharger. Out the, as it's uh, as it's back, so um, yeah, this thing here is going to be awesome on the uh, water. I can't wait for it to be out. It's going to be loud. Everything works as such as I said. It can start up now. It just doesn't run 100% right yet. Uh, we're not running into sequential either. We're only running on batched. Um, so I really want to get it to run to sequential as well. Um, so I'm hoping the next yeah. We, Next few months or so, as I said, we're working on everything at the moment, um, and uh, we can get this thing running right as well. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, really, really like this thing. I, um, yeah, this was a uh, pretty cool build actually to get this thing right. I've never had a boat, never owned a boat, but I've been in lots of boats. But um, yeah, this should um, fly past them all. Uh, and um, yeah, this is uh, where it's at. But um, hopefully, yeah, soon it'll be out in the water. So yeah guys, if you guys want to see a little bit more of this, this bad boy running, um, start it up. There's a couple of clips of it running, but um, yeah, not obviously not working on the water yet. Uh, yeah, we'll get this thing up and running as soon as we can. And um, yeah, and just like all our projects, we like it to be, um, yeah, running right before it, um, it hits the track. Uh, for this one here, hits the water, obviously. All right, peeps, I'll uh, leave it there. That's the run through for the boat. Um, well, jet jet cart, jet boat, whatever you want to call it, pretty much. There's a lot of names for this thing. And um, yeah, this is what it is, pretty much. It is a very small boat. It's only a one-seater. Um, I'm very small. Tall people probably wouldn't sit in this thing. But um, yeah, I fit, it. I fit in there pretty easy. And yeah. All right, peeps, make sure you like and subscribe on this thing as well. Um, like, on, um, like on the video on this one. Um, subscribe on my um, on my channel uh, obviously if you don't like YouTube go uh, to Instagram uh, snail TV Oz or even on Facebook just snail TV I always uh, try to keep them updated and um, yeah and you can get links to the videos on there as well but um, yeah there's more, more projects to come as just things like this I do want to um, build something like this a little bit bigger with more people obviously maybe a two-seater or something or a uh, or a decent size of boat uh, and not sure about engine combo or any, anything like that yet but um, yeah these are things that we can do and we can trim pretty quick as well which is good uh, all these projects as you can see these are all done in just a, um, a single um, well, single garage shed pretty much um, it doesn't take much to build these things uh, just got to know what you're sort of doing so on that note um, thanks very much for watching creeps and um, yeah make sure you like and subscribe and um, yeah I'll see you